Hello there, fellow peasants. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, MetaQuest 2. <clears throat> Originally, it used to be known as Oculus Quest 2. Uh, so I've been wanting a VR headset for like four or five years now. And I finally got one for Christmas. And so I just want to share with you what I think of my first VR experience. Uh, and I wanted to share with you, uh, kind of like, give you, if you don't know anything about VR, or you think it's, you have an idea, or you think you have an idea of what it's like, I kind of want to explain the best I can, because it's, it's something you don't know what it is, really, until you put it on and try it. Um, so, yeah, so, I've, I've been wanting a headset for a while, I finally got one for Christmas, it came with, uh, Resident Evil 4. Uh, the game Resident Evil 4, and I've played some free apps in there like VR Chat, and where you can go into like little worlds and things like that. And I played like a roller coaster game on there. I, I I just got it for Christmas, so I don't have a ton of experience with it yet. I've only had it for a few weeks, uh, but I'm pretty impressed by it. I really like it. Uh, it's awesome. It's better than I thought it would be. And uh, so, kind of want to just explain to you guys kind of what uh what it's like in vr you know what i mean um so you know if you think that vr is uh looking at a screen you're right you are looking at a screen but but what you're looking at is it's an optical illusion essentially one eye is seeing one image the other eye is seeing the other image but slightly off and so those create a 3D image when put when put together. It's a stereoscopic image, but it's not just that. Uh, it's in a completely 3D environment. So it's not just like looking at a picture that has depth. You know, like 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 look, take take Avatar for example. You go see Avatar, and you're watching the screen, and it looks like you could put your finger in it because it has depth, right? It looks like you can reach into it. Um, uh, but, uh, you can't, you know, uh, in VR, uh, you don't, you don't just see, like, l let's take an example, like, if you're watching a 3D movie, yeah, the tree looks like it has some depth to it, it looks 3D, but that's all you can see, you can only see it from one angle, the angle that it's filmed at. In virtual reality, you can... You can get up and walk around the tree and see it from all angles. Tilt your head down and look up at it. Look down. You can lay down next to the tree. You can, just like you would in real life. And, and that's the same with like any object uh, in VR, you know. You can pick up a glass, like a mug off a bar counter, hold it up and look at the bottom of the mug and set it back down. You can... To turn corners you can poke your head out of windows out of you know you can look outside of windows in a house and look down into the yard um it's that level of 3d you're completely surrounded in this 3d world and it's freaking sweet i, I can't wait to explore more um i downloaded um cool thing about the meta quest too is it's, you, you you it's standalone you don't need to have a pc you can download all the games and apps on the headset um, you have controllers, but some games and stuff don't even make you use controllers. You can do hand tracking and the hand tracking is pretty cool where you don't need controllers. You just use your hands and you can move your individual fingers and do things that way. And that even creates more immersion because you know, you, you're using your hands to pick things up. You're using your hands to, you know, just do stuff. And so, um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed by it. Um, I downloaded Skyrim on Steam. I have a shitty laptop. <laughs> My computer barely runs uh, efficiently. It doesn't really run at all, so i got to get a new laptop here soon. Um, so I don't know when that's going to happen, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I tried to even download Windows 10 on my laptop, and it's it's just not working. My computer is just crap so eventually i'm gonna have to get a new computer and uh, reinstall uh skyrim good thing i bought it while i was on sale and it was only like 15 bucks on steam which is cool 
and now that I have that, you know, I can download that any on any computer I get. And you can use AirLink. You can use the AirLink on your MetaQuest 2 headset, link it to your PC, and play wirelessly Steam games wirelessly from your PC onto your uh, VR headset. Uh, if you don't want to use AirLink, and you some people like a stronger, more reliable uh, feed into the headset, they have what's called Air. Uh, it's like an AirLink cable or something, and you can plug that from the headset into your PC. Um, you know, uh, you can get really long ones that are like 10, 16 feet long. Uh, they're not bad. I just, I just think I would prefer to probably to play wirelessly unless the graphics just really suffer due to the internet speed and the Wi-Fi or whatever it's running off of. So, um, but yeah, guys, um, VR is pretty freaking sweet. I just gotten started in it. Um, you can walk around in different worlds in this VR chat app and, People just do random shit, like, you know, like, there's, like, random worlds, like a Blockbuster and a McDonald's and a Wendy's, and there's, like, a whole Roman city that someone built you can just walk around in. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's something I didn't think that was going to be around uh, when I was younger, uh, that's for sure. And uh, I highly recommend you try it. If you know someone who has one of these headsets, have them bring it over to your house or... Uh, or go over to their house and check it out because, like I said, you don't know how sweet this how sweet this technology is until you give it a try. You know, um, I didn't really know exactly what it was. I mean, I I kind of had an understanding about the uh, the 3D immersion and looking at things from different angles, but I, I didn't quite grasp how real it would feel when you have when you can look at your hands in the game and say you have a gun or knife in your hand or or a phone in your hand in the game. And it looks like the phone is like right there, like the way you're holding it and stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking sweet. So, um, but that's about it guys. Go, go try one of these out. Uh, and, uh, and, and let me know what you think. If you, if you already have one of these headsets or, or you have another hot headset, you know, uh, let, let me know what, what your experience with VR is and, 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 and what you think about it and whether you're impressed or not impressed or whatever. And, uh, other than that, that's about it guys. Have a good one. Peace out peasants. Bye-bye.